in April, I will be posting a video about one of the questions in my guide, over 100 questions to ask your kids about sexuality. The guide is free, and if you don't have it, you can get it by either clicking the magic eye up there or clicking the link in the description box down there. So let's kick off the first video in this series by talking about the first question in the guide. It is a question for preschoolers, and the question is, how do you think babies are made? Sometimes people ask me, Nadine, why would I bring this up with such a young child? And there are a couple of reasons. First of all, pregnancy is often a part of little kids' lives, like especially for older kids in a family, um, their parents will get pregnant with a second, third, or fourth child, often when the older kids are like two, three, four, and five. Um, and if it's not their parents, it's often, you know, their friends' parents. So little kids are often around pregnant people, and they will naturally be curious. Another reason is that when we bring it up first, we avoid getting blindsided. Like, it's so common, it's almost become a cliche that, you know, your little kid will blurt out, where do babies come from? Like, when you're in the middle of a dinner party or like Christmas morning or sometime when and you're like, you're not prepared and you're all flustered. So again, this is just you taking control of that conversation. And when you ask the question, you get to decide when you get to have that talk. This first, where do babies come from conversation, and I do think it should be the first of several. Um, sometimes it can be a little bit intimidating because it's maybe the first time you're talking about anything to do with actual sex with your kid. Um, but it can also be really funny and cute. I've heard all kinds of hilarious theories from little kids about where babies come from. Uh, I've heard babies grow inside the butt. Uh, I've heard um, the mom gets a needle through her belly button and that's how the baby gets in there. Uh, I'm, I've heard that, oh well, you know, the mom lays an egg and then the dad pees on it and then that makes a baby, like all kinds of stuff. When you first ask the question, uh, there's a good chance that, if you've never talked about it before, your kid's not really going to know. Um, where babies come from or how pregnancies start. So you can just take that moment to correct any misinformation they might have. The next thing you can do is you can ask them if they like to hear the story of where they came from or how they were made and born. The reason I encourage folks to come back to this topic with their kids over and over again throughout the years is because conception and childbirth at their core are actually quite complex and scientific and there's a lot of detail and it's too much detail to get into all in one talk. So for little kids, um, I like starting off with here's just the story about you and where you came from because little kids are very concrete thinkers and they're also very self-focused. So a story that's all about them is really appealing. I do have a video you can watch about uh, what a where you came from story might sound like. And uh, in that video, I cover conception through sexual intercourse, IVF, surrogacy, and I also have a version of the story for adoptive parents. So you can check that out. If you're looking for resources to help you dive into this topic with your preschooler, there are a couple of books I highly recommend. One is what Makes a Baby by Corey Silverberg, and the other is It's Not the Stork by Roby Harris. So I will put links to both of those books down in the description box. And that is it for our first question of the guide and our first question of the month. Now, if you have any comments about this topic or any further questions, then, you know, hit me up in the comment section below. And I really hope you stick with me for the entire month. If you're not subscribed yet, then go ahead, hit the subscribe button and then hit the little bell and then you will get a notification every day when I post the new video. That's all for now. I hope you have a great day and I will see you tomorrow. Bye. If you want to hear the story about uh, where they came from, <sighs> the next thing you can do is you can ask them the story. No, you can't ask them the story. That's not a thing.